Hello viewers today i am going to talk about the biography and the great contribution of amir khusro amir khusro dehlvi an extraordinary innovator and genius was not only an unrivaled scholar and poet but a skilled musician he is well known for his immense contribution in literature and music and is also known for his playful riddles songs and legends in fact amir khusro is one of the most versatile personalities of the medieval india now the early life and the background of amir khusro amir khusro whose real name was abul hasan yaminuddin khusro was born in 1253 in patiali village in eta district of uttar pradesh amir khusro was born to a turkish father and an indian mother his father saifuddin mahmud khusro was a chief of the tribe of turkey and was living in the city of kash which is now called shehre sabz in turkestan he was driven out of turkey by changhez khan and he took shelter in india in 13th century of course in patiali of eta district in up he was married to a hindu woman in india thus amir khusro inherited islam and sufism from his turkish father and therefore he was well versed in turkish persian and arabic languages he imbibed indian culture from his mother therefore he had a good hold on his mother tongue which was braj bhasha later on he lived for some time in avadh delhi and punjab and he learned urdu hindi and khadi boli too amir khusro lost his father when he was only 8 years old and then he moved to his maternal grandfather imadul mulk in delhi where his grandfather was serving in the royal palace of sultan giyasuddin balban in delhi amir khusro was exposed to all the famous literary figures of his time when he used to accompany his grandfather to the royal court to attend congregations over there this inspired him to take up poetry and indulge in fine arts like music poetry was inherent in amir khusro at the age of 8 only he started writing poetry and when he was merely 12 he was writing very high level poetry primarily he wrote in persian but later on he also wrote in what is called hindi a combination of local braj bhasha and persian which later evolved in hindi and urdu hundreds of amir khusro hindi playful riddles are still popular among the masses for more than 7 centuries for example one of his riddle is khet mein upje har koi khave khet mein upje har koi khave ghar mein upje ghar kha jave The answer of this riddle is food, which means clashes. Another example is, Nar nari kehlati hai, aur bin varsha jal jati hai, purak se aave, purak me jaye, nadi kisi ne bujh batai. The answer of this riddle is nadi, which means stream. Amir Khusro became an ardent lover of devotional music. The Sufi saint, Hazrat Nizamuddin Auliya was his spiritual mentor. This is the reason most of his poetry was influenced by Sufism. His Sufi mystic and spiritual poetry expresses eternal love. This is evident from one of his composition which is in Raag Jaunpuri 
and which is set in deep chandita bahut rahe babul ghar dulhan chal tere peene bulai bahut khel kheli sakhiyan se ant kari larkai the last lines are khusro chale sasurare sajni sang nahi koi jaye many of amir khusro's poems are still used as bandishes in hindustani classical music and as ghazals by ghazal singers even today now amir khusro's career amir khusro joined the royal court at the age of 20 and he served seven sultans that means kings and three princes in his lifetime that is from the time of sultan ghiasuddin balban to muhammad bin tughlaq Sultan Jalaluddin Khilji was highly impressed by the capabilities of Khusro. He added the feather of Amir in his cap. It is said from then onwards he was known as Amir Khusro. During the time of Alauddin Khilji, too Amir Khusro was highly appreciated. In the court of Alauddin Khilji, every day Amir Khusro enthralled him. by composing a new ghazal hence he designated him with khusro e shaira that means kavi samrat a king of poetry he was a celebrated singer and was a court musician too now amir khusro's contribution towards music amir khusro was well versed in persian music and he was a great lover of indian music and he tried to synthesize both the styles in fact it was he who started the process of synthesizing turko persian music with indian music and introduced many new singing styles new instruments rags and tals in indian music Amir Khusro's immense contribution can be categorized under the subheadings of innovating singing styles, inventing new instruments, and introducing new rags and tals, etc., in Indian music. So let's have a look on all these aspects one by one. So first of all, I will take up Gayan Shelley's. for the new singing styles in indian music amir khusro is credited with introducing many new styles in indian music like kol kalbana qasida naksh rangtrang gul nigar qawali tarana doha and savan etc kol is the synthesis of persian and arabic lyrics and the indian singing style amir khusro is known for contributing a novel style of singing in indian music called qawali qawali is a devotional music of sufis which he introduced on the likes of bhajan this singing style is set in qawali tal hence it is named as qawali the style of singing is characterized by fast tans and combination of different swars it is a form of chorus singing with the leading singer taking a lead and the remaining singers repeating the lines while clapping in the rhythmic style qawalis composed by amir khusro are still popular his most popular qawali chap tilak sab chheni has been sung and recorded by the famous sabri brothers the bowls of this qawali are chap tilak sab chheni re mose naina milai ke prem bhati ka madhva pilai ke matwali kar le ni re mose naina milai ke last lines of this qawali are khusro nijam ke bal bal jaiye मोहे सुहागन की नीरे मोसे नैना मिलाई के 
another qawalis muhe apne hi rang mein rang le tu to sahib mera mehboob e ilahi amir khusro's outstanding contribution in indian music is that amir khusro is said to have been innovator of another style of singing known as tarana sadar gaan paano paano gaan sadar sadar gaan paano gaan sadar sadar gaan paano gaan gaan la 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 paano gaan sadar gaan paano gaan This style of singing became very popular during the time of Amir Khusro and it is still popular today. Khyal singers often end up their singing with singing of tarana in ati drut lai that is very fast lai in the same raag in which they had sung khayal. Amir Khusro is often acknowledged for the introduction of khayal in Hindustani music. He is said to have set the groundwork for Khayal style of singing. Khusro's another contribution in singing style is Savan, which is a dialogue between the married daughter who is in her in-law's house and her mother. It is sung by the girls at the onset of monsoon rains, usually while swinging on jhulas in a garden. For example, One seven geet is like this. Amma mere baba ko bhej ho ri ki seven aaya. The mother replies, Beti tera baba to boodha ri ki seven aaya. Amma mere bhai ko bhej ho ri ki seven aaya. Beti tera bhai to bala ri ki seven aaya. Then again the girl says, Amma mere mamu ko bhej ho ri ki seven aaya. Beti tera mamu to bankari ki saavne aaya. Another of Amir Khusro's achievement was his new style of writing ghazals with a combination of Persian and Braj Bhasha, which is called Hindvi. This not only showed the mastery of two languages, but he also introduced romanticism, a new element in Persian ghazals. 
which enhanced their beauty beyond limits. Many of Amir Khusro's ghazals, kawalis, and other bandishes are sung even today and has kept his name alive among us the masses for more than seven centuries. Singers like Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, ghazal singer Mendi Hassan have sung the Kowalis and Ghazals of Amir Khusro. Thus, Amir Khusro's contribution towards new style of singing has enriched Indian music. Another field in which Amir Khusro displayed his genius was the invention of sitar. It is believed that Amir Khusro invented sitar by combining Tanpura and Tritantrivena and named it Sehtar, which later on came to be known as Sitar. Similarly, the invention of Tabla is also attributed. It is believed that Amir Khusro invented Tabla by dividing Pakhavaj into two parts. There are different opinions regarding the invention of these instruments of Amir Khusro. The great music scholar Acharya Brahaspati and the great sitar maestro Pandit Ravi Shankar do not consider these instruments to be originated by Amir Khusro. Pandit Ravi Shankar has mentioned in his book, My Music, My Life, he writes, it is not unnatural that since he held such prominent position, the historians of his time glorified him and gave him the credit for many things that he really did not bring about. Amir Khusro is credited with the introduction of many rags in Indian music. For example, Sazgiri, Sarparda, Zilaf, Yaman, Kafi, Bahar, Purvi, and Brari, etc. Similarly, he is also credited for the introduction of 17 Tals, namely Sawari, Jhumra, Arachotal, Kamsa, Jat, Frodas, Pashto, Sulfak, and Jald Tritaal, etc. It is said Amir Khusro authored 99 books, but only 22 could be available. Amongst his books, Toftu Sigar, Vastul Hayat, Gurtul Kamal, Bakiye Nakia, Nahaitul Kamal, Shiri Vakhusro, Aine Sikandri, Hasht Bahesh, Rasale Izaz, Afzul Kawaid, Kiranu Saden, Nuhu Sipar, and Tughlaq Nama are worth mentioning. These books are mentioned in Slochna and Acharya Braspati's book, Amir Khusro, Tansin Tatha Anne Kalakar. Except from these Persian writings, Khusro also wrote in Hindi and Braj Bhasha. It is said Khusro had written books on music which could not be found out. In 1324, Amir Khusro's spiritual guru, Sheikh Nizamuddin Aulia, died. At the time of his death, Khusro was away to Bengal. When he heard about his guru's death, Khusro immediately arrived and went to his grave. He was so shocked that he expressed himself in the form of Doha. Gori Zove Sejpar Mukh par dare kes, chal khusro ghar apne, ran bhai chon des. Just after six months of the sad demise of his guru, khusro too breathed his last in 1325 at the age of 72. According to his last wish, khusro's tomb was erected next to his master in Nizamuddin Aulia. Darga of Delhi. Every year on Khusro's Urs, that is, death anniversary of Khusro, Kawalis are sung with devotional and religious fervor to Nizamuddin Aulia. 
Khusro's death is not the death in the literal sense of the word, for he would always remain in the unforgettable legions of literature and music. While concluding, we can say that Amir Khusro was a poet, musician, composer, scholar and statesman. He was linguist, humanist and an ardent Sufi mystic. He was a versatile personality and had a great success in all the fields of his activity. In 13th century, he enriched Indian music by introducing Persian and Arabic elements in it with the synthesis of both. He originated many new singing styles, especially Tarana in Indian classical music. His outstanding contribution was the cultivation and popularization of Kavali songs, which are sung and appreciated till today. The invention of many other new styles of singing, instruments like sitar and tabla, new rags, tals, and of course, hundreds of his playful riddles have kept his name alive even after more than seven centuries. In short, we can say that Amir Khusro was a versatile personality of medieval India, whose immense contribution towards Indian music is unforgettable. The whole world of music is indebted to Amir Khusro for his greatest contribution. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh,